As stated in the previous video, adapters are Java files. Let's right-click on our project's package and create a new Java class. We'll name it Custom Grid Adapter. As we did before with the Activity class, we'll need to extend a built-in Android class. This time it's Base Adapter. The common error appears where we haven't imported the library yet, so let's do that. We then get a new error. We haven't implemented some of the necessary methods that the view is expecting. By hovering and clicking Add Unimplemented Methods, Android will fill this in for us. We don't really need to change much about these except for the get view method, which is where we'll do our dirty work. Continuing, we're also going to need three global variables, which we'll set in the constructor of this class. Let's declare them now. We'll first need a reference to the grid view itself, which we'll be manipulating. This will be used later to figure out how big the square should be within the context of the screen. The next will be a string array named color values. This will hold all the colors of the squares in hexadecimal form. The last will be a context variable that will name context. Let's take a moment to discuss context. The Stack Overflow community has a good way of describing what exactly the type context is. It is the context of the current state of the application slash object. It lets newly created objects understand what has been going on. Typically you call it to get information regarding another part of your program, such as the activity, package, or application. We'll use this hand in hand with our reference to the grid view to figure out the dimensions of the view and the screen. Our constructor will take these three variable types as inputs and set them to the global variables we just defined using the this keyword to refer to the current instance of our adapter. Let's dissect the other methods that were required but we haven't touched yet. The first, get count, simply returns the number of items that will be processed by this adapter. We know that we'll have nine for our three by three matrix. We'll make it a little more dynamic in case we change that later. We can suppose that for each box we'll have a different color so we can set this to the length of the string array color values. The getItem method returns the object information for the specified index, which is the integer argument this method takes. GetItemID is similar in that it returns the row ID for that item within the set, rather than the object information. We finally get down to the getView method, which is where most of the action occurs. We'll deal with the chunk of the content in the next video, but let's change the name of the arguments to more accurately reflect what they are. The first argument, which is an integer, is the position. The second is the view of the item. When the list is first being generated, this will be null because it hasn't been created yet. If it's already been drawn, but the list has been updated for some reason, or needs to be redrawn, maybe due to the scrolling of a list, we can recycle this input to save some computation. We'll name this convert view. The third argument is the view group parent of this view, which in our case would be the grid view. Thus, it should be titled parent. In the next video, we'll use the getView method to actually create the items we want for each box of our grid view.